Awesome. Guys, we're going to go into questions for junior offensive lineman DJ Scaife, and we're going to start with Matt Shodell from Kane Sport. Matt, go ahead. Yeah, hey, DJ. Um, I wanted to ask you, what, what's, you know, right now you guys are on pace to allow under 30 sacks after the team gave up 51 last season. I know, obviously, a lot of those aren't always on the offensive linemen. But what's made the pass protection just in general so much better this year? What is it the offense? Is it the Eric scrambling? Did you guys be better? A combination? Can you sort of um, give your take on, on why the pass protection is so much better this year? Um, it's of course like us getting better, but also the offense helps us out a lot when we go fast pace. And you know, the Eric helps us out, bail us out a couple times too. But it, it's mostly us getting better though. But everything ties into that. DJ, we have Susan Miller Degnan from the Miami Herald. Susan, if you had a question for DJ. Yeah, hey DJ. Um, that final scoring drive against Pitt for you guys, it stretched uh, like seven minutes, 65 yards, and it ended with Jose's field goal. How valuable was that for you guys as a line? How good did that feel knowing that helped solidify the victor victory? And is that the kind of thing you wanna you know, just keep doing? Is that your goal? Yeah, it was very valuable because we could control the game. Like, we just keep the offense off the field, so that helped us out a lot. I liked that a lot also. Does the sack sometimes not tell the story of the game? I know there were four sacks, and I, I know that Manny Diaz said that some of them were because maybe Derek held the ball too long, or, you know, how much do you look at the sacks, or is, like, what do you take into account when you're assessing, you know, your play as a line? Can you say that again? Okay, there were four sacks, right? The yeah. other team, right? And Manny Diaz said that some of them, you know, the, he, Manny Diaz said you guys played well, the offensive line. How much yeah. do you get the sacks, you know, in your play? How much, you know, what, what do you take into account as to if you're having a good game or not? Uh, I mean, I don't want to see my quarterback on the, on the ground at all, but... I mean, again, I just don't want to point fingers at nobody else. So I guess we just got to go back and see how we can fix that all around. Thanks. DJ, DJ, we're going to go to Manny Navarro at The Athletic. Manny? Hey, DJ, you, you already won the team MVP award last year. I know you had a, a good sophomore season, but how do you think this junior season has gone for you individually? And where, where has Coach Justice maybe helped you the most in making you a better player? I feel like the season going good because obviously we're winning a lot more. Um, Coach Justice, he just built me to a different player overall, really. He just helped me out with a lot of things. From my run blocking to my pass blocking, everything, really. Are there any techniques or things that maybe he's taught you that you that you weren't doing in the past? I mean, think specific things that you that you think you're doing better? Yeah, um, my steps, you know. Every day he gives me something to work on, like he, he always tell us every day, find something new to work on so you can face it. Thanks. DJ, we got time for two more. We're going to go to David Ferrones at the Sun Sentinel. David? Hey, DJ, I want to know how uh, Jalen Rivers is uh, progressing in your eyes. And is he a guy that kind of like you might be able to play guard and tackle uh, down the road once he, you know, once some other guys uh, move on and, and he really starts getting some, some big time reps? Yeah, I like Jalen Rivers a lot. I see him progressing a lot. From spring all the way to now, he, he just keep getting better every day. So I see him playing early on. And what is it? What what is about him his game that you uh, you see uh, going well? He just listen and like if coach say fix this, he gonna try his hardest to fix that. Cool. And and I had one other question. Um, you guys uh, seem to do a lot better on third downs when it's a uh, third and short, third and. Uh, and you know, and you're out of third and longs. Is there any emphasis that is placed on the offensive line uh, on early downs uh, to get you guys into good uh, situations on third down? You know, just don't be third and long. That, that helps us out a lot. Just don't be third and long. All right, DJ. Last one for you. We got Daryl Streeter from Footballville. Daryl, go ahead for DJ. Hey, DJ, what's going on? Uh, I got a question. Uh, the mental mistakes. Have you guys addressed them this week in practice? If so, how? Can you say that again? The mental mistakes out, out, out on the field. Have you guys addressed them this week in practice? If so, how have you guys addressed the mental mistakes? Oh yeah, we addressed those. You know, um, if we if we get like an MA, we we do gases for that. So we fix that basically. We already fixed that. We already moved on for that for mental mistakes. I mean, all right, DJ. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us today, and good luck the rest of the week in practice.
Uh, thank you.